Some city and state leaders are calling on the NYPD to back down from arresting street vendors. This following recent arrests of women selling churros without a permit. Nate Rogers breaks it all down for us. Selling churros is the only source of income for Carmita and her family. Carmita, who only speaks Spanish, has been fined nearly $12,000. She was arrested twice and says she's constantly harassed by police. The issue, she's licensed by the state health department, but does not have a permit to sell. The cap on permits is too low. It's been the same since 1983. Our population has grown. We need people to be able to make a living for themselves. More than 50 people rallied outside the Myrtle and Wyckoff subway station in Bushwick Wednesday morning. Their claim over policing after this viral video surfaced over the weekend of a 43 year old woman handcuffed and arrested in Brooklyn while selling churros. The city recently deployed 500 new officers to combat crime on the subway, but council member Antonio Reynoso says instead of officers going after petty crimes, resources would be better spent tackling more violent offenses. I'm demanding right now that the city actually put a moratorium and have a conversation about what exactly enforcement means. You are a police department that is supposed to serve the people of New York, not harass them. Officials at today's rally say there are 2,500 people on a waiting list to receive a permit. The cap is 5,000 permits allowed. There are nearly 10,000 people selling food in New York City without a permit. Mayor de Blasio has defended the officers in the latest churros arrest. In New York, I'm Nate Rogers for Chasing News.